Welcome to Real Internet Cash TV. It's your man Earl, Batman Stringer, and in this video, I'm gonna give you four side hustles that you can do right now to help you beat this inflation that's going around. It's everywhere. The gas prices is high. Groceries is high. Anything you can think of, haircuts is high. Everything, the price has gone up. So instead of waiting, you know, for prices to come down, which nobody really knows when that's gonna happen, the only other option is to bring in more money. Bring in extra cash, because if you bring in extra cash, you know what I'm saying? You ain't really worried too much about the inflation. It still sucks though. But here's four things that you can try to start bringing in extra money today all right number one is rent a friend right you can actually um offer your services to be people's friend i know it may sound weird but it's real and it is legit all right so all you need to do is go to rentafriend.com create a profile set your prices and um you good to go all right now depending on where you live, you know, if you live more in a probably bigger city, you'll probably make more money than you would, you know, in smaller cities like that. Now, if you're willing to travel a little bit, you probably can, you know, earn more money. So the thing is with this is, um, you can earn anywhere from, you know, $10 an hour all the way up to $50 an hour. This is not a dating site because I did a video on this before. It's not a dating site. Um, so, you know, if you're thinking like, yo, uh, I'm looking for love, that's not, that, no, that's not rentafriend.com. Go there, you know, sign up, offer to be a friend. People are actually looking for people to hang out with, right? And you could actually be that person. All right, side hustle number two. Now, this one has been around for years and it's super popular and you can start this pretty much this weekend, all right? And that is garage selling. I think that's a word. Well, go to garage sales. This, um, Gary V made this pretty popular a few years back. Um, basically, all you wanna do is find garage sales in your area, or you can go outside your area, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna travel, that's on you. But all you wanna do is go to different garage sales and you wanna try to find things that you can buy very, very cheap, take it home, and resell it all right this people are making a killing using this idea and i'm sure this could be really big right now because people are looking to make extra money so that means a lot of people are having garage sales this is where you could come in right come in like oh how much is this oh it's it's ten dollars oh let me get five for it. boom take it home sell it on ebay for $25, $30, selling on Craigslist, um, selling on Facebook Marketplace. Man, people are actually doing this as a home business all the time, all right? So the smart way to go about it is halfway, you know, do a little research of things that you are looking for that are that people are buying on, you know, Facebook and eBay and, and other online auction style sites. You wanna kind of do your research before you jump into it or which it might be a little easier way when you go to these garage sales you want to like have your phone or have whoever you would had a phone out right so when you're looking at stuff like you know old toys or or you know appliances or, or workout equipment or old coins and all kinds of stuff you can actually just bring it up on your phone you know just bring it up on your phone and you know go to ebay and, and type in oh a Tickle Me Elmo. They got a Tickle Me Elmo in this bitch. Okay, bring it up. Right? Check this out. This is what people do. This is what people do. They check it out. Like, oh man, these things are selling on eBay for like $80. Right? They got to be in good condition. So you sit there and you see this Tickle Me Elmo on the table for $10. You know what you need to do. I ain't got to say it. You know what you need to do. All right? So garage selling. Side hustle number two. Side hustle number three is another one that you can start right now, and that is YouTube, right? And I know you're probably thinking, man, everybody know about YouTube. Man, come on, man. Like, I gotta get monetized, and I gotta get a thousand subscribers before I can start earning some YouTube money. 
No, that's not the case. In fact, a lot of people that make money on YouTube, they're actually, they're actual, I can't talk. Their actual YouTube monetization money is the least money that they're getting, right? So keep that in mind. But how you can start earning money pretty fast using YouTube is by doing reviews, all right? Reviewing different products and being an affiliate of that product and that's how you can actually start earning money without even being monetized on YouTube. Now, first thing you could do um, is start off with things that you may own already, right? Even things that's valuable. Think about family members and, and you know your husband, your wife, your kids. Think about things that they got, right? That they already have. And you, what you wanna do is <clears throat> do a review on that product, right? Talk about it, the goods, the bads, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then you wanna get on, try to find a place that sells that item, whether it be walmart.com, whether it be uh, amazon.com, although amazon.com, you can make money, but their commission is trash, but you can start, right? Um, so you can go to a place like this, sign up to be an affiliate, walmart.com, I even like bestbuy.com, they're easier to get approved for, um, to be an affiliate. Amazon is too, but Amazon wants you to have some sort of website set up. Uh, you could look that up, um, but it is very simple to get a website set up, at least a blog or something before you can get approved, but you can figure that out, right? You get my point. Um, be it, become an affiliate and do reviews. If you don't have anything, right? What you can do is do videos and you can actually find products that you wanna promote and you can actually find real reviews online and you can do a video basically sharing other people's reviews, right? And then you wanna send people to your affiliate link and then that way you can start earning some nice side income by doing this. So this is something you can literally start doing like today, all right? Last but not least, a fourth side hustle that you can do to help beat this inflation that's going on right now, right? It's a little, little different, but it's becoming a social media manager for local businesses. See, I'm, I'm hooking you up with all kinds of stuff, all right? Now, you might be thinking, what? I'm not a marketing expert. I ain't go to college for this. Like, I ain't trying to do this. Come on, man. Listen, do you know how to post on Facebook, uh, Twitter, TikTok videos? Can you upload a YouTube video? Can you post on, on uh, LinkedIn or whatever? If you can do that, you're qualified for this. All you need to do, and I talked about this before, all you need to do is figure out your little pricing, like how, what you wanna offer. Do you wanna do uh, you know, one post a day? How much are you gonna charge for that? Uh, three posts a week or whatever, right? Get your little prices together. All you need to do is find local businesses in your area that either have no social media presence or they already have like a Facebook page, a, a Twitter and all that, but you see that they don't really post a lot on, the, on their social media platforms. All you need to do is reach out. That's it. Uh, you could do it on Instagram, Facebook, just reach out to the business and say, hey, I just started a local you know, social media agency. I'm, I'm just brand new. I got incredible pricing on uh, social media posting. I offer that. Um, you know, Are you interested in something like that, right? Hell yeah, you're gonna get a lot of no's, but you're going to get some people that's interested. And if you really grind and you really send out, you know, 50 messages, you know, uh, every few days, you're going to get some responses and think about it. This type of service is something that a business owners, business owners do want. And a lot of business owners need this type of service, but they don't have the time or the know how to, to do this service. So you can actually offer uh, this service to local businesses and keep in mind, this will be an on ongoing thing because so once you get a client, most likely you're going to be getting paid on a monthly basis because with social media, you want to keep that up to date. You want to always have fresh posts going out, right? So this is something that you literally can start. Now, um, that's the basics of it. Like, you know, get your pricing together and just 
you know, approach local businesses, right? Once again, they don't got to be local, you know what I'm saying? But if you want to reach out outside of your area, that's, that's on you. Um, and once you get going a couple clients, um, you can actually get some software that actually allows you to, not software, there's different websites and software that will allow you to actually schedule out posts. So if you got four or five, 10 clients, you can actually schedule all their posts out. So you could basically set everybody up in a weekend and kind of run your social media business uh, hands-free to a degree, right? So hopefully that helped you out. That's four side hustles that you can start right now. Now, if you want to check out another side hustle that is super easy and you can start in the next 10 minutes, you want to watch this video right here.